Hey y'all, it's Blue. Hope y'all are having a great day. I'm sitting out here with the pup, getting some good old sun, right? I'm charging, recharging, getting that energy from the sun. So I just wanted to take a moment to talk about a little something, something. So, you know, we're coming up on uh, the 1st of April. And the 1st of April is what we know in the U.S. as April Fool's Day. And there's, you know, the pranks and all the other stuff that happens. April Fool's Day, da 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 da, da. In essence, April Fool's, you know, is tricking things, tricking people, making things appear that they are as they, you know, as they're not, you know, April Fool's Day, making things appear as they are really not, okay? But also what you need to know is on April Fool's Day, we also start a Mercury retrograde. Mer Mercury retrograde, a lot of people, when they hear that, they think, oh, shit, about to go through. What is Mercury what is Mercury aligned to? Communication, um, dialogue, um, just any modes or means of communication. Mercury is all about that. So now we've got April Fool's Day and, the, and, and Mercury going retrograde. And retrograde means that it appears to be going backwards instead of its normal forward motion. It's the appearance of it moving backwards. It's not really moving backwards. It's the way that the orbit happens. It appears to be orbiting backwards. So that's two things. You've got April Fools where things won't appear that the way that they really are and the jokes on you. And then you've got Mercury going in retrograde. I keep telling y'all that April is going to be quite the interesting month. There's a lot of stuff going on up there that will always affect what goes on down here. The saying is, as above, so below. Anything that goes on up there goes on down here. This is why our ascended masters knew to pay attention what goes on up there. Why? Because it's written through all types of text, not just ancient texts, but even the biblical texts that, you know, many of us have subscribed to all these years to watch the heavens for signs and wonders, that communication comes from above. So now I'm about to go into some, something else. Don't let anybody tell you to not pay attention to the stars and the, and the heavens and what they're doing up there. They are setting you up for failure because they're fucking scared and they don't understand it. I can remember when my grandmother and some of my aunts and other folks in my family, if there was something that needs to be done, if there was a crop that they needed to tend to, if we ever had crazy dreams, what did we have to do? We had to go to the elders in our family and tell them our dreams. And then what would they do? Go straight to that farmer's almanac. Why? because the farmer's almanac would let them know what planets are positioned in the sky and the scripture of, of the day that's given in that farmer's almanac. Folks, we need to get back to that. I know I've gone back to it. Thanks. I've gone back to it. And, okay, I just got my first photo off. That guy that just spoke by, he just took a snapshot of me. I think that's great. Anyway, <laughs> I grabbed my makeup at some point. Not that I have much on. I don't wear much makeup these days. Just a great lipstick and and um, and uh, a mascara. Sometimes I'll go all out, but not today. Anyway, I digress. That was a great paparazzi moment. <laughs> Photo up. And he was kind of cute. You know, my inner cougar. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. So, I need y'all to start paying attention. When I tell y'all, pay attention to what the hell is going on up there, pay attention to what the hell is going on up there because it directly affects and directs what's going on down here. If the stars weren't important, 
in the Bible, and I keep having to reference the Bible because most of the people grew up with that, at least most of the people that I'm listening to. Spirit witness said that he named every single one of them. But why would you name something that doesn't matter? So, let me get back to the point of this meeting, or this, this conversation. Um, you've got April Fool's Day, you've got Madrigal and Retrograde all in the same day. And there's shadow period, so it may have started a little bit before, definitely going to start a little bit afterwards, but you can bank on things with communication being off. Your phones might be jacked up. You're, you might send an email that gives off the wrong impression or send out the wrong to the wrong people. Things that's having to do with communication. So the, the message here is especially for the month of April, while this thing is in retrograde, with high emphasis on April Fool's Day, chill. Chill for the whole goddamn month, actually, because it's some stuff popping off in April that's that's uh, that, that hasn't ha happened in, in for God knows how long. And when it did happen last, it was very significant, the impact. April, y'all need to chill. Just chill. I mean, really just chill. Um, there's some things that are coming. There's things that are happening. The skies will let you know. But as for this message, don't take everything at face value. Check it out. When I say check it out, as in the words of Ronald Reagan, trust but verify, trust but verify. That's always been my mantra. I don't believe shit until after I verify it. That's why I listen to, when I'm listening to a lot of this stuff, on you know social media so everybody talking about everything but I'm looking to see are you citing do you have sources you know I'm gonna make a video about that too especially with that bit that bitty thing because we've got AI that's in the mix you don't know what you're listening to you don't know if what you're it's so real and so convincing you don't know if what you're hearing is sound information and in some cases, when you're speaking on a religious or spiritual tip, if it's actually sound doctrine. So be mindful of that. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I know there's something else I'm going to come with because I hear it. But I need y'all to lay low. I mean, if you've never laid low before in your life, April, lay low and watch. Watch. Don't take everything at face value. Be prepared for things to kind of just interrupt your, you know, or be intrusive as far as communication. And if you're with a loved one or a significant other or something like that, there might be some tension from, you know, here and there, but just remember what's going on up there so that you can manage it properly. All right. So that's all I have for right now. Let's go see if I can find old cameraman <laughs> and y'all take it easy. I say, I say, I say, and get in some sun. Get in some sun. You belong in the sun. I turn this thing off. Oh.